That project uh, went into a, another operation, uh, which was uh, <clears throat> uh, called Southern Star. Uh, Ed Stubbs uh, ran it out of our headquarters. Ed and I had been partners early on uh, on, a, on an international fugitive case that we were working on. Uh, now Ed was my supervisor, which was great. Um, we worked together very well. We set up a whole office off, off camp, not out in the marshal's office. We had our own radio system, we had our own computer system, we had our own administrative staff, we had a little lockup area there, had our own security around the, the building. Uh, we were in a, basically it was a, a business park. And we had plane cars there. And uh, the, the way these operations worked is that we would team one deputy U.S. Marshal with one local law enforcement person. So we had 20 deputies, we had 20 local law enforcement people from Metro Dade, Miami Springs, Miami City Police Department, and they would be teamed up with one U.S. Marshal. I would go in a couple weeks early. I would cull through the federal warrants with the local staff, uh, figure out which people we wanted to get on the federal side of it, and then I would liaison with all the other law enforcement agencies that were going to participate in this. And um, since Miami was on the East Coast, we were doing six southern cities, uh, Miami, Houston, New Orleans, uh, Dallas, uh, Los Angeles, and I think San Diego was the other one. Um, we were doing all these, this back in 1991, uh, Ed Stubbs was in charge of it from our headquarters office, and uh, what I did is I picked out three warrants that I knew were going to be very possible we'd get these people before this even started. And uh, we had all this area set up. I had boxes with um, radios in it with 10 warrants with credit cards for the, each team. Had it all set up right there in the room. You're going to get this box. You guys get this box. You guys get this box. You're out there. Go to work. And <clears throat> headquarters people were there. William McKinney was there. A lot of people from our headquarters. All the local um, uh, chiefs, assistant chiefs, supervisors were there. And I said, I opened up with, this is you know, a great moment for all of us to get together. We're going to have a great operation. I said, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. I says, you got a very poor supervisor here to run you guys. I says, because I'm a, I'm a terrible supervisor. I says, I, I don't care what time you come to work. I don't care what time you go home. I says, uh, I don't care if you get a chance to lift some weights while you're working out here to stay in shape. Uh, I says, I, I want you to, you know, you're, you're adults. I says, my job here is to make sure the air conditioning works, that the cars are properly repaired, you got gas cards, that the radio system works, and to make the liaison with the local law enforcement agency when something goes wrong, I'm going to work on that. And if somebody gets into an altercation, I'm going to try to figure out how we're going to solve that. And I says, so I'm not here to torture anybody. I says, because you know what? Each and every one of you are the very, very best that your agency has to offer. So I don't have to supervise you very much. I have these other tasks that will occupy my time. But there are three requirements I have. The first requirement is that everyone do the, does their job safely, that no one gets hurt. I said, I don't want to be the person that has to go home to a wife or family member and tell them, you're not coming back or you've been injured. So number one, officer, deputy safety. Number two, we all have a good time at this. I said, this is a fun job. I said, you minimum, minimal paperwork, you're gonna work 60 hours a week, the government's gonna pay your overtime and provide all the, the equipment that you need. So we should have a good time doing it. And I said, at the end of this detail, I have my third requirement, and that is the Miami site has the most arrests of any of the cities in, in Operation Southern Star. And with that, the first two arrests of Operation Southern Star are coming through, and I had those deputies that had made the arrest that morning do the perp walk right through in front of all these people with the guys in handcuffs. And that's how we start. And we were number one in arrests. And we never got anybody hurt on that detail.